my fellow Americans, freedom lovers. Recently, uh, Republicans have declared that the uh, attack on the Capitol on January 6th is uh, free and open political discord. Now, I completely agree. Uh, any Republican that wants to storm the Capitol to kill another Republican, that is absolutely, it's just free and open discord. No questions about it. Now, if a bunch of Republicans want to storm the Capitol and kill Democrats, well, that's actually a violation of law and order and they should be penalized as criminals. So, what I wanted to discuss here is the people's civil discord, not storming the Capitol, but regular people and their civil discord in politics and talking civilly. And so how do we do that? Well, online is, is the way to do that. I mean, let's face it, right? It's the easiest way to connect, bring people together. And I started thinking about all the wonderful tools that we have available to us for absolutely free to take back our country and our democracy and our government. And it goes a little bit like this. The logic I'm going to speak in the next few minutes will go right past all the people who are so infected with racism and hatred in their minds that they just simply cannot see logic anymore. They're like zombies that just can't be spoken to. And for them, you know, okay, go do something else. But for everyone else who believes in civil discord and actually getting things done now, here is the plan. We have something right now called lobbyists, and these are corporate uh, overlords, slave masters, that go and donate huge sums of money to politicians so that they can spend that money on expensive TV ads so when you're scratching your butt having the um, cheese doodles at 8 o'clock, an ad will come up and tell you who to vote for. Now, I don't think any of us wants to have uh, money in politics, right? Because the more money is in politics, the less, say, you and I have, right? So what we have, though, are some tools available to us. First of all, we have unions. Unions allow us to communicate with other people about possibly unionizing in our workplace. This makes sure that we get higher wages, uh, possibly it could keep jobs from being shipped overseas, it also is, uh, gives benefits. Basically, the whole reason we have any of the 40-hour work week and a minimum wage and things like that is because of unions right after the Depression. So we need to get back to unions, unionizing, which you can do right now very easily on the Internet to sign up on any given number of uh, unionizing websites. Then we have the Green Party. The Green Party is now an alternate party, grassroots, for and by the people, not for and by the corporations or their stooges. And this means we can grassroots effort throw out the disease that is the red and blue parties in there right now. We can replace it with green. This green will get uh, the environment clean and create jobs doing so. Jobs that can't be sent away because those jobs will have to be done here to clean our environment, rebuild our infrastructure, and seek new ways of creating energies that will make us a lot of money if we do what we are supposed to do as Americans, what we've been led to believe we are as Americans, and that's come up with ways for energy that the rest of the world will want to buy. Hello? <laughs> we invest in ways to make energy that the rest of the world will buy. Think. Think for a minute. Stop and think. This is how we climb out of our economic depression we're in, and get the violence and crime to go down and people off of the street. And we do this with Green Party members who want to create jobs, cleaning the environment, creating a new energy that is non-polluting and we can sell to the rest of the world. That sounds like a great plan to me. And it doesn't take a lot of money to contribute to a campaign when you can simply just go on YouTube search up your local candidates for any party in any location and for free see them discuss what they feel right there to your face. This negates the need to have 
big campaign donations. Who needs what? Like, let's turn our backs on the stupidity of lobbyists and campaign donations. That money should be going to actually building the economy, the green economy, where we have a technology, an energy that the rest of the world buys. That's The money would go way better there. And that would create jobs for people to work for themselves and get out of poverty like capitalism supposed to do. So hey, all the bull crap I've had to hear about capitalism in this country my whole life, put your money where your mouth is for once. So we're gonna get on YouTube we're going to find our candidates in a grassroots manner that doesn't require huge sums of money for campaign contributions. We then can mobilize as the 99% that needs to eat and have shelter. <laughs> that should be everyone's main concern here. And by the way, if we let the environment go down the tube so we can't live here, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of food and shelter. So, we have candidates that are grassroots, don't take money from corporations. We have YouTube that we can go on to and see any candidates that we want to vote for. And for the moment, we still have a democracy, which we better use to protect our democracy because it could very well, like a candle in the wind, be blown out and never be relit. And that is a scary, scary world to think about. So. These are the ways, my fellow Americans, that we will bypass this silly system of corrupt goons that are driving us to live in the outdoors.